I got myself a new toy. It's the world's dirtiest hexar. It's almost too dirty to handle. But the price was spot on and it was only 10 minutes away, so I hauled this thing back home. So let's have a closer look at this piece of vintage metal. I don't know how old it is, but I think it's at least pre-war. I haven't found a make or model. It looks like the motor and the uh, coolant setup was installed later. And it was probably run from a uh, line shaft back in its uh, earlier career days. Someone uh, repaired this eccentric shaft, I don't know if that's the right word for it. But it allows you to set up the uh, stroke of the uh, saw. It has a nice of uh, elastic well band to drive the uh, the uh, oil pump or coolant pump. The blade is about 40 41 centimeters so that's about 16 inches for the people still living in the uh, imperialistic part of the world. I just noticed that the blade isn't 100% parallel with the bed, so it's either play or or it is bent somewhere. You could compensate that by putting the uh, uh, vise uh, on an angle. As you can see, something is bent. And I think it's the bar that holds the weight that makes the uh, saw cut faster. Here is a closer look at the uh, well tray somebody made underneath this thing to support the motor and the uh, the oil coolant tank. This doesn't look um, factory. They also added some uh, some. Well, there were some plates on there, uh, probably to uh, compensate for an uneven floor because this thing is not really steady. The leather belt uh, still looks uh, decent enough. Here's a handle that I have no idea what it's used for. It might be some kind of uh, brake or or lock mechanism. It clamps down uh, with this bolt. I loosened it up but still no idea what it's for. There's an oil hole here um, that goes all the way to the inner shaft. I guess coolant is just pumped up in this cup here, flows through this tube and overflows back into the tank through this hole. Nice old big motor. Probably not that strong because old motors used to be quite big. I think not more than one, one and a half horsepower. And a nice real safe metal box that switches things. The uh, cabling has seen better days. So, I'll see if I can find some uh, leads and a more modern plug and I'll try to get this thing running. There's a look inside the uh, switch, quite a bit of rust there. The uh, insulation is uh, disintegrating, there's a loose spring here. I reckon I'm brave enough to use this thing again. It's only 380. The uh, motor seems to be okay. I 
all three windings are there. There's a closer look at the uh, switch box. That uh, spring could have killed you if it would have hit one of the phases. There's also quite a bit of play on the uh, on the shafting. Here's a look at the uh, motor box, or the connector box from the motor. Some uh, some rod, some spider webs, some rust. Looks pretty nasty. I think it's gonna rain. I might need to pack up my stuff. It looks like the uh, the ground wasn't connected anymore. If it ever was connected. And I don't see a uh, a terminal for the ground on that motor connection. But I got some cables hooked up. I didn't bother to put the lids back on because this is a temp setup. I don't have any cable shoes and this way I think I can see if things go up in smoke. I call that success. I guess I'm still a bit afraid to touch that lever. Even though I did measure the ground. I wonder if it runs in the right direction. Oh, there's a... I think it is. There's an arrow there. I'm curious if this uh, pump is still doing anything. That's not doing anything. That belt is uh, slipping. Let's try that again. Pretty hot. And not hundred percent straight that cut, so it ain't perfect. So there you have it. One classic hacksaw brought back to life. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this thing.